Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today we're going to be continuing the Obby series, welcome to part 4, where today we're going to be completing the entire UI. Scripting the UI will be the next episode, so let's get right into it. So inside Starter GUI, click plus and insert a screen GUI, and this screen GUI you can call it uh, left bar. And the only things we're going to have on the left bar, uh, usually there would be multiple, but I think uh, we're just going to have an invite friends button. And a, and a little UI that shows your stage. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the uh, little text box that will show our stage. And inside this text box, I'm just going to write loading because the script will change it. And uh, until the script doesn't change it, it is technically loading. So that will uh, go both ways. Uh, I've actually inserted the wrong element, it does not need to be a text block, it needs to be a text label, so my bad. And this text label, just move it down, you can make it in the center, I'm just going to move it up a little bit because we're going to have a second button here, and I'm just going to move it to the right a little bit. So in inside this uh, text label, I'm going to insert a UI corner, and I'm just going to flatten it out a bit, I'm actually going to go over here and do one comma zero. And as you can see, it turns out like that. So we're just going to go ahead and do 0 0.2 maybe. Uh, maybe a 0 0.3. Just keep playing around with it until you find something that you uh, like. So I think maybe 1.5 or 0 0.15. And then what we can do is make the text loading. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start playing with the colors. So I'm going to offer a very light, uh, lightly colored UI here. So it's going to go for a super light uh, blue here, and I think I like that, so I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to change up the font and all that, so I'm going to change my font. I know, I know you guys can't see this window, but I'm just going to scroll down a bit, scroll up a bit rather, and I see a uh, Gotham bold. I like that. And make sure your text is scaled. Uh, on second thought, <laughs> the scaled text does not look the best. So what we're going to do is, is uh, insert another text label inside the text label, which will contain our text. Uh, so to do that, we just got to go to text down here and change our text to say nothing on it. And then just copy this text label, paste it inside itself and go ahead and make it a lot smaller. Make sure the background transparency is one. You guys can get rid of the UI corner as well, since the uh, background isn't even visible in the first place. And now you can uh, make the text say whatever you want, because the script will change it on its own. Uh, text scaled, and I think that looks pretty good. We're just going to move to the center. There we go. I think that looks pretty clean. I'm just going to move it a bit bigger. Now we have some text that says loading on it. And this will display the player's stage once it does load. Uh, real quick, I do want my text to actually be white, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And obviously when you have white text, go ahead and make the text transparency a 0 0.7. Or not transparency, sorry, the text stroke transparency, 0 0.7. So there we go. It doesn't look the best on small text. So when you do have small text, you, go, you guys can go ahead and increase uh, the transparency even more. So that's going to be my stage UI. And I'm just going to go ahead and name it to uh, be named something. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that you should be able to know what it is by looking at it in the Explorer, just to make sure the Explorer is clean. So from here, what we can do is go ahead and create the Invite Friends button. For this, I'm actually going to be using a plugin. And that plugin is called, oh, one second, let me find it, Factor Plugins. Uh, I think that's, yeah, it's called Interface Tools, not Factor Plugins. So from here, I'm just going to go to buttons and insert any one of these buttons. Uh, I'm going to like, I'm going to pick this button right here and close off that window. Uh, real quick, the button inserted there, move it out and make sure you click this and change the Z index behavior to global. Just so the button looks proper if you're using this plugin. And then I'm just going to move the button underneath. Uh, make it a bit bigger on both sides. I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change the name. Invite friends. And these invite friends buttons uh, do help a lot in game. So make sure you have these. 
invite friends and I think I have a double space okay I don't have a double space here so once you're done this uh, make sure your fonts match or else it will look pretty ugly so make sure you have the same font for both of them and then make sure you're, uh, you have the same like text stroke uh, transparency and all that I'm actually going to copy this text label and paste it in here deleting the old one as you can see the text uh, is the same for both now and I feel the UI button should be the same color so we're also going to uh, meet in the middle of these two uh, I also need to go down here and actually we're going to be changing the uh, background color anyway so I'm just going to leave that not the border color but the bra the background color 3 and I'm just going to make it I'm just going to look for a nice color somewhere I think this green right here is very nice so I'm going to select it, then copy these numbers, then I'm going to go to the Invite Friends button, the shadow, and change the background color there. Okay, so now uh, the shadow actually does need to be darker, so I'm going to click here and darken it up a little bit, there we go. Now that you know it's a button, we can continue. One more thing, uh, the UI corner, I'm actually going to go ahead and copy it from the Invite Friends button, paste it in here, just so everything looks the same. Uh, so now we actually do need to change the text label here to say what we intended it to say it, uh, What we intended it uh, for it to say loading uh, And there we go. I've changed the text on uh, this text label right here to say loading and from there We can create the buttons at the top uh, at the top rather which I promised you guys So let's go ahead and do that So for that I'm going to for, sorry for so for that, I'm going to create a screen GUI, click it, and I'm going to call it top bar. And we're going to have three buttons under the top bar, so let's go ahead and start creating them. Uh, I think what we can do is actually copy the invite friends button, go to top bar, paste it in, and move it up to the top. Move it up to the top, so that allows for some easy button creation. 45 by 45 pixels, uh, it does not give us a perfect square apparently, so that sucks gonna go ahead and find the sweet spot where we have a perfect little square at the top and the square is going to have a few arrows on it so there's the middle and this is actually just going to display the stage you're at so your current stage you can go ahead and make it Gotham black and the text can be very large because the number needs to uh, be very large so here we go this will display the current stage you're on just gonna go ahead and make the text label a square so nothing is stretched and there we go that is uh, the top done I think I do need to set this to global there we go I'm actually gonna keep it as sibling just because uh, this color looks better at the top so from there, we can go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, one more thing, this does need to be changed to current stage display. And I have another plugin called reclass. And what I can do is convert it to a text label. So it's no longer a button. There we go, it's now a text label and there won't be any clicking icon in the game. Uh, so from there, we can create our arrows. And the arrows will be text labels. So uh, just keep that in mind. Just gonna move it over now very carefully dragging on it didn't actually work but it's all good we have it now just gonna move it over here and move this back uh, actually we don't need the text label but I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna use the reclass plugin to convert it into an image label or an image button actually because uh, the arrows do need to be clickable so uh, it should be an image button I'm just gonna call it image button and I just did this so that it's the same size and we need, just need to uh, reclass this right here into a text box or not a text box sorry a text button because it does need to be a button so there we go now it is a uh, good button and I'm just gonna name it uh, forward stage and just duplicate it Make sure it looks even. 
Uh, I think that it does need to be moved over a little bit, but backward stage. There we go. And now we can find some good arrows, so I'll be right back with the IDs. All right, guys, so I have this arrow right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the ID. Paste it right into the image button here. All the way down to image. Paste in the ID. And there we go. We have a uh, nice image of an arrow. And what we can do is rotate this. So uh, for that, we just need to find the property. Rotation. Rotate it 90 degrees. And there we go. It uh, also peaks out a little bit, which I really like. If you don't, you can, you can always go make it smaller. And uh, now what I'm going to do is go to backward stage, image button, down to image, paste in the ID, and go up to rotation, and do a negative 90 degree angle. So there we go, our uh, two arrows are done. And what we can do in the future is also have a little lock. So if you are uh, unable to go forward a stage because you haven't unlocked it yet, then we'll also have that there. So I think that's going to be all of our UI this episode. Next episode, we, we will be scripting the whole UI. So other than that, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and it's Rodev. Right I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I can see you wanna vibe with me. Just say you wanna vibe with me. Feeling like I won a lottery. You getting a lot of me.